Hello, welcome to a coding challenge, the chaos game. So this is the chaos game playing out right behind me. Um, this is actually code that I wrote at this wonderful event that I recently got the chance to attend um, called ThinkerCon. <laughs> Thank you to the organizers of ThinkerCon, Destin Sandlin, Henry Reich, Emily Grassley, Sabrina Cruz, and Robert Krowich. Links to their information and websites in this video description. This was like a mind-blowingly awesome event. Um, and while I was there, I programmed in front of people underneath a rocket, a Saturn rocket depicted here, um, with um, James Schloss. Now, I never met James Schloss uh, in person before, but you might remember that I've uh, used uh, James Schloss's uh, YouTube channel um, as inspiration for um, other uh, videos like the Tesseract over here. So um, James and I, I think he used like Julia and like VI, but I programmed this chaos game algorithm in the P5 web editor, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now in homage to the wonderful time I had at ThinkerCon. So what is the chaos game? So first of all, I would recommend this number file video about the chaos game for background. Um, it's, an iter it's an iterative process of picking random points and, um, and doing some math with those points and seeing what happens afterwards. So rather than try to define it, you can of course always read the Wikipedia page, very tempted to do a dramatic reading of it. I'm just going to describe to you how it works over here on the whiteboard. So let's say we have a two-dimensional plane. This is a two-dimensional plane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a set of seed points. So, and maybe I'm gonna put those points in a, as an equilateral triangle. But as you'll see, eventually at some point, I could have four C points, five C points, I could put them anywhere. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the chaos game. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pick a random point on the wall. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> that worked the first try. Earlier, to, earlier I was doing another take and I had to do that like six times. I'm very lucky now. Okay, so, <clears throat> so this is my first random point. Now what I'm going to do is I need to pick a random number, one, two, or three, A, B, or C, zero, one, or two. Uh, how do I do that? Do I have a, um, I don't know, I'll just pick one from my, my oh, I have a book of random numbers. Five, four, one, five, seven. So why don't we do seven modulus three Right, seven divided by three is two, remainder one. So I picked a one, zero, one, two. So if this was zero, this was one, this was two, what I'm going to do now is move halfway to this point. And now I have another point. Aha, okay. Now, pick another, another random number. Nine, eight, eight, one, eight. So I'll just use the last digit, eight. Modulus three is, uh, uh, eight divided by three is two, remainder two. So zero, one, two. So now I'm gonna go halfway to this point. And I could keep doing this over and over again. And if you watch the number file video, you'll see somebody do this actually physically with rulers and pens and all sorts of artistic talent. I have none of those things. So, but I do know a little bit about programming. And so this is something I can program. So let's actually go program this and then see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna use the P5JS web editor. This is, I think, a simple enough project. Um, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the uh, editor homepage here, um, and I'm going to uh, name this uh, Chaos Game. One, uh, save. All right, so let's uh, start this off. So I've got my two-dimensional canvas. What I need first are those seed points. So I'm going to do this um, in a very simple way, and then... All right, thank you, by the way, to Espen Larson, Dr. Circuit on Twitter, uh, who created the I'll Refactor This Later song, which is like my new favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, links to more about um, Espen's music in this video's description. Uh, okay, so I'm creating these three points. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know what, I'm gonna put them in a random spot. I'm gonna make the seed points themselves actually random. Why not, right? So I'm gonna have a, a point A, a point B, uh, and a point C. So I need three points, A, X, A. Am I standing in front of the code? I kind of am. So let me move this over. 
and let me move this over. Let me give myself, let me just use a window width and window height. So I cover the whole thing and then I'm gonna make it a, a black background. Move this a little bit over. Now I think we're good. All right, so what I wanna do now is let me draw those points. So I'm gonna say stroke 255, stroke weight eight. So I just wanna see those points AX, I just wanna see them. So um, we should see uh, three points now. How come I don't see any points? Ah, because I am drawing the background over and over in draw. So let's do this here. Okay, so every time I run this sketch, I am going to now have three new points. All right, so now let's play the chaos game. So what I am, then I need a kind of global XY. I need a global XY, and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm also going to have XY be some other random point. And what I'm going to do in draw is say stroke, uh, let's make it uh, like a nice RGB color, uh, and I'm gonna draw a point at XY, and we can see, okay, there it is. So this is, right, every time I run this, I have my three seed points, and I have this new pink dot, which is the XY. So now what do I need to do? What I need to do is I need to say, let me pick one of those three points and move halfway there. So the first thing I need to do here is just pick a random number. One, two, or three, right? But this is going to give me a floating point number. So what I want to say now actually is give me floor that, which will take off the decimal place. And then if I get a zero, I'm gonna do one thing. Otherwise, if I get a one, I'm gonna do another thing. And, and I know, I know there's all, but just remember. <laughs> I know I'm overusing the sound effect right now, but it's the first day I have to use it. <laughs> it's just, it makes me so happy. Um, so if I pick zero, what I want to do is move halfway. I want to move halfway, right, to this point. Guess what? I could do some math, right? I could take the x of this, the x of this, divide it by two, I've got a new x. But there is actually a function in P5 called LERP. LERP stands for linear interpolation, meaning interpolate from one number to the other in a linear fashion by some amount. So if I want to linearly I don't know if that's a way to say that. If I want to linear interpolate, if I want to lerp from this point to this point by 0.5, watch what I get to do. 50%, that's halfway there. So I'm gonna say x equals lerp x ax 0.5. And I'm gonna do the same thing for y. And then I'm going to do uh, here, I'm gonna do it with bx. Look, it's already happening. The chaos game is already happening over here. Look, now I only have two points, so you can see all the points end up just on that one line, right? Every time I restart this, all the points end up going between point A, point zero and one. But now, let's make some magic happen. Whoops, ah, ooh. Let's do the last possibility. Let's plug in the C and see what happens. Okay, here we go. What's going on? Do I see some pattern emerging here? Well, I am playing the chaos game. This looks like it could be kind of familiar. Let's be a little bit more methodical about this. Let me actually start with um, um, an equal, a perfect equilateral triangle. So actually this won't be an equilateral triangle, but it'll be simpler. Let me just um, put these seed points at the corners. Um, and then I, so, uh, so I'm gonna put these C points at the corners and then we're going to see what happens. And then let's, so we can start to see something emerging here, this pattern that's emerging. It's happening kind of slowly. So what I might like to do, a couple things I might like to do. First of all, I think it's, I'm gonna make the points a little less thick. Then I'm also gonna give them a little bit of alpha. Again, I have no artistic talent, so I shouldn't do what I'm doing. And then I'm going to draw 100 of them each time through draw. There we go. Oh, I, that, I, there we go. Oh, look what's happening. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. 
let's forget about the alpha, all right? Oh, and you know what we could do which is fun? Why not? What happens if I give it different colors? Like here, if I pick zero, let's try this one color. If I pick one, let's try a different color. And we can sort of, and we can see now, we can see there are actually three different sections in a way of this. What is it called? Say it with me, Sierpinski triangle. So this is what's amazing. The chaos game, this very simple algorithm, will produce a perfect rendering of a fractal pattern. This one, very famously, is known as the Sierpinski triangle. Very little code, I've got the Sierpinski triangle right there. So this coding challenge is actually complete, but it's not over. I mean, the video is gonna end at some point when I stop rambling. But let's think about some things that we could do. For example, anytime you make something like this, you might think to yourself, well, what are some parameters that I could start tweaking? Well, why should I bother? Why should I start with only three seed points? Why should I only have, to, why should I only go 50% of the way e um, each time there? Why should I have an equal probability of going to each one? Aren't there some other things we could apply to this? So this is now your exercise. Create your own version of this. Could you make an array of seed points? Could you vary the distance, the, the, the percentage di distance you go to each point? Could you vary the probabilities of how you pick each point? What else could you do with color? How could you render this? Could you connect the lines? Could you use different shapes? <gasps> what if you did this without, uh, and you had to erase the background so you're actually like, piling up all the points in this big array. There's so many possibilities. I'm gonna come back in a second part and at least do the part, I'm gonna refactor this later, but not too much later, where I'm gonna at least make this an array of seed points and, uh, and play around with that 50% uh, value. So I'm gonna do that much. Don't watch that video yet if it exists. If it doesn't exist, you can't watch it. Um, try this on your own and then um, share with me your results and then you'll see my extra little step with this and um, that'll be that, okay? Oh, oh, if you're looking for the code, by the way, when, especially when I do something um, in the P5 web editor, you can just go to this uh, particular uh, URL, which will also be in the video's description, and I do have a, a page about this challenge also on thecodingtrain.com. Okay, thanks, and see you next time.